My name is Wayne Franklin. Uh, I'm going to be your host today for Travel Secrets Mexico for this segment. Uh, we're sitting today at the beautiful Paramount Bay condominiums located in the Amapas neighborhood in Puerto Vallarta. Um, what we're going to do today is meet with some folks that have decided to call Puerto Vallarta home. Uh, but before we do, I want to talk a little bit about the marketplace. Um, every place in the world has had some level of an effect on real estate prices in this economy. Uh, and Puerto Vallarta is no exception to that. However, uh, the market here has actually been fairly strong in that uh, while some places have needed to discount their prices uh, substantially, um, in most cases the sellers in Puerto Vallarta have not. Now, that might sound a little odd to you, uh, but the reason for it is because over 95% of all real estate owned in Mexico is actually owned debt-free. There are no loans against 95% of the real estate in Mexico. That's a very different scenario than in the States or in Canada. And so the holding costs for real estate here are substantially lower as a result without having any mortgage costs, the low property taxes and reasonable utility rates. It doesn't cost as much for somebody to basically hang on in the marketplace. So while that frustrates a lot of buyers, the astute buyer understands that in reality that's created a very financially strong marketplace. And we're all looking for financial security in these uncertain times, aren't we? It's, it's a really good reason, I think, for people to consider buying in Puerto Vallarta for that, for that reason alone. So now that we've talked a little bit about the marketplace, what I'd like to do is introduce you to a few folks that have decided that Puerto Vallarta is the spot to live. What would you consider to be your favorite part of living in Puerto Vallarta or Mexico? The weather is pretty good. It's the weather's great. Great. It's great. I do today. get a little humidity in the summer and I do have to turn on the air conditioner, but I live with the windows open all day. I love, I love the people. I, I tend to interact more with Americans and Canadians just because of where I live and just because I speak their language more easily. Although I'm taking Spanish lessons, the people are so friendly. It's so easy to make friends and so easy to have a social life. I don't feel like I left anything behind. My Sundays are my day to go to the beach and de-stress. I mean, you jump into the beautiful water, you look up at the mountains, and it's gorgeous. And like he said, the the uh, the people here. I mean, for the moment that we vacationed here, and then certainly when we moved here, it was such an open community, uh, open to meeting new people, open to new ideas, and it's uh, just a very, very friendly country. Also, what I really love about this is it has a very quaint feel. Vallarta has a, a, a different feel than most other cities in Mexico, at least the coastal cities, I think. With the cobblestone street, the Malecon, the, the, especially the, the cathedral, the church with the crown on top is just glorious. What would you say would be your favorite part of living in, in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico? It's relaxed. It's friendly. The people are wonderful. We've met so many wonderful people here, in fact, and just friendly Mexicans who want to help you. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's probably the best part about living in Mexico. The cost of living is significantly less than the United States. The weather's terrific. Uh, and it's gotten to the point where a lot of the things that we didn't have in the past are available here now. Given all that you know about living in Puerto Vallarta for as long as you have, if you had to make the decision again, would you? I would, and I'd make it sooner. Oh, yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah, I wouldn't think twice about it. Would have done it sooner. The only thing I regret is that we didn't come here sooner. Yes, we would. In fact, we'd probably move earlier, although we couldn't retire earlier. The only thing that kept us from moving here earlier was that we were still working. And we still have the option of moving back to California. We still have a home there. So if we wanted to, we could sell Puerto Vallarta and move back to Palm Springs. Our decision is, is to stay in Puerto Vallarta. We like it here that much. That's great. If you had one message to give to the listeners mm -hmm. about living in Puerto Vallarta and Mexico, what would that message be? Don't be afraid. Don't listen to the news. Now, if you deal in drugs, that might be a different story. But, uh, and you're going to maybe a border town, but if you're going to somewhere like Puerto Vallarta, uh, don't worry, it's, I was out last night at 
11 o'clock walking alone on the street, I felt perfectly safe. Terrific. It's a great place. Good food, good people. Come, come visit us. It's a great place to visit. It's a great place to live. And no matter what they're saying on the news, we still are getting the reports as well that more and more people are retiring here. Right. I mean, I, I think it's, it's a little bit counterintuitive of the news agencies on the news agency's part not to start doing stories about just how many people are ignoring that bad news and still continue to move and retire down here and enjoy life. Don't be afraid to come. That be sure when you do come that you experience as much as possible of the culture. I guess the message would be is remember 20 years ago or even 10 years ago when there was this mystique about coming to Mexico and you felt like it was really a cool place to go and a great vacation or a great place to move. It's really still that way. Yeah, there's some problems along the border and in some communities, but you get away from that. And there's a great country here to discover. And we love it here. We don't have any intention of leaving.